Hey, students, playing a little bit of catch up here, doing some grading in the airport, namely uh, Charles de Gaulle Airport in Paris, France. I'm on a public history adventure, and I'll, I'll catch you up with that in a day or two. Um, right now, I want to give you some feedback after uh, grading the last round of your uh, reaction papers. And these are things I've mostly said before, but apparently they need some reinforcement. And I should preface this by saying most of you are doing great. You're getting A's and B's. It, it's, a, it's a joy to read your papers. It's a joy to see you doing so well. But some of you are getting that B and really would prefer that A. And uh, so here's, here's three tips on this. First of all, mind the mechanics. An essay should have a title. Um, and the title shouldn't be my museum paper. My, my grad school advisor, the great James Axtell, he said a title should be like a high, line of haiku poetry saying a lot with very few words. That's a pretty high standard, but something good to reach for. As long with the title, it should have your name and it should have what class it is. I know, I, you know I know that already because it's in Canvas and stuff, but there are standards to be maintained, people. We are academics here. Um, the second is to remind you to signpost your Choose Your Own Adventure articles. And what I mean by that is you introduce it by saying, in my Choose Your Own Adventure article this week, I read so-and-so. You just write that out. A couple of you told me you don't want a signpost. You think it's silly. Um, <laughs> well, if you want to make sure you get the points for Choose Your Own Adventure, help us out here. Um, you know, please, please signpost. Uh, finally, and once again, beware of the laundry list. These pieces we're reading each week, they talk to each other, maybe not directly, um, but indirectly. And it shouldn't be that hard to weave them together in a given, you know, and have thematic paragraphs rather than having each paragraph be, I read this article and I thought that, and then I read this article and I thought that. Um, you know, bring them together both within the paragraphs, but also in the introduction and conclusion, which kind of goes back to the mechanics. An essay has an introduction and, and a conclusion. So that's it. Watch the mechanics, signpost, and don't avoid the laundry list. Anyway, thank you for taking my class.